All right, I make sure my audio is working as usual. I haven't done a live stream in a little bit, so make sure it's working before I continue to run my mouth. It's working, before. and it is. All right, all right. So I haven't done a live stream in a little bit. I haven't done uh, any new Deep Face live models in a little while, and I have had uh, as a gentleman on the Deep Face Lab. Um, Discord server who has kind of repeatedly asked me to do a Heath Ledger model. Uh, I've been trying to get Heath to work in any kind of particular video. Um, everyone I've tested them in, it just seems like they don't, they haven't been turning out that good, and so I haven't uploaded them. I didn't like, like his nose from the side has kind of got a hawkish uh, quality to it, and it seems like you don't get good side profile in any of the stuff that I've been trying to do. So whatever. Um, I didn't really like the way the, the regular models were going. So I went ahead and just made the live one. So let me go ahead and enable that. And make sure it's working. Okay. So this is Heath Ledger. Deep face live model. This is trained to about 850,000 iterations. I think I need to find, um, I don't know, like maybe just probably train it a bit longer. It just seems like there's not a huge amount of detail in the face. It still kind of has a smooth quality to it. I don't know. Uh, like as far as the facial expressions go, like I already got them down. Um, I pretty much used interviews to do this. Uh, I have like one one stretch of footage out of uh what the hell was it um i used a little from baroque back mountain and what is it the 10 things 10 things i hate about you was a movie he was in when he's really young uh i pulled about 50 or 60 images directly from like google image searches because um a lot of the the footage i was finding was not like anything that's not joker it's like the quality isn't that great um it's just stuff from when he was younger when he was um, like a teenager or whatever, or like young 20s doing uh, kind of teenage-like movies, you know, like uh, not another teen movie-esque kind of stuff. And so uh, a lot of it isn't super sharp quality. I have a good amount of it. I've got about 30,000 images. And one thing I found lately, um, like the, the Carl Urban model that I did is almost exclusively from interviews. Uh, and some of the interviews I found of him um are pretty high quality and so i've got like almost forty thousand images of carl and i find that when people are taking uh doing an interview it just seems like they kind of have their guard let down and you get a wide range of facial expressions and they're looking around and they're kind of having uh i see her got pretty good you know like the the facial mouth movements and stuff and the eyes and, and pretty much blink and do both sides with this um where some of the models I've had in the past haven't had that kind of diversity of facial expressions, but just through a general conversation they have with somebody, people do a lot of body language and expression to try to emphasize a point they might be making or something in a conversation, and it just seems like you do get pretty good results when you use interviews, at least in terms of, um, again, like facial expression diversity. Uh, the downside might be if you're trying to find good lighting conditions like low light conditions or different colors of lighting that you might want to use depending on what your destination video is going to be like for a non-live model more than this um it's like there's you know like interview is always well lit you know they try to light the person and they use stage lighting and um you know maybe it's not so ideal for that but i, I mean this turned out pretty good um if you get a little bit closer to it it's not Horrible. The teeth look pretty good. I think the bottom ones need a little more time in the oven, maybe for detail or something like that. And like I said, this is um, uh, like almost exactly 850,000 iterations. So it could uh, certainly go for another million or something like that and see how much better it can potentially get. Or um, if I do decide to keep working on Heath, I don't know, I guess you guys maybe leave me a comment in the comment section and decide if you think it needs more time if you if you guys are happy with it where it is whatever um but anyways maybe we'll try to find some more footage from some of his movies uh like blu-ray rips or something like that where i can get some more detail oh the patriot was the one movie that i went through heavily other than the interviews the patriot uh with mel gibson when he's he's pretty young i want to say that he's i mean 
it's been gone for quite a while unfortunately so what can you say but i think he was fairly young in the patriot like late teens early 20s again and um that movie is available with quite high quality i have a copy of it in 4k on my amazon streaming account so i got most of this um from my amazon prime copy of the the movie <laughs> so yeah like i say it's pretty good there's a lot of good scenes in that like uh you know there are scenes where like he's fighting with guys and there are scenes where like when he dies in the film like he's on the ground and his head's back and so forth so you can get a lot of the angles from that and then again to fill in the gaps with with all the different facial expressions that come with uh sort of being a chatty kathy uh you know when they do the interviews they get a lot of this kind of stuff going on here so anyways uh i'm pretty happy with with this live model I, I think it could use a little bit more time but definitely not so bad might look better on other people than on me um i've kind of got a big round head and he doesn't look like that so you know what makes me look better than i've ever looked hey hey yeah see mm -hmm. anyways if you guys like the video please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel uh other news uh, i did leave a comment on the channel here recently but once again, my ABBA video has been copyright struck, so this is the second time that that has happened. Last time I got the strike removed and I got the video restored, and here we are two weeks later. It's a different group doing it this time, but it's the same thing. It's like these these big companies that represent bands and different music entities, they just go around copyright striking any kind of video that's got the name of their band in it. It doesn't matter if they actually own the material or not. It doesn't even matter if you use the audio or not, because as I said before, uh, in the in the community posts, I didn't use any app as music. Um, it's just a video clip someone took from a live concert on their cell phone. I think they used the cell phone or like a high end uh, cell phone or a decent 4K camera because the quality of the footage is pretty good. But yeah, it's literally just somebody with a camera went to a concert. I cut out all the audio. I heavily edited the clip and then I deep faked over her face. Um, they have no right to it. It's fair use, uh, public domain, etc. And it's not like I'm making much money on it. I made like $20 on that video. Why do I got to take it down? You know, it's not hurting them. So, whatever. Anyways, uh, okay. So, <laughs> rant over. Uh, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll continue to do live models and non-live models. This live model is now available on my Google Drive. So, if you want a free copy of the Heath Ledger model, the link is in the description uh, to my Google Drive. It's the D called the DFM file. I've done videos that explain how to use DeepFace Live, so if you need uh, a refresher on that, the videos on how to use it on my channel. The latest version of DeepFace Live was uploaded, I think, on uh, June 14th or 15th, so I've got a link to DeepFace Live download uh, also in the description. So if you don't have the software, you can download it. I think the recommended GPU spec is like a 2080 Ti, which like an RTX 3070 is the equivalent, or an AMD equivalent. I haven't tried it on anything. Um, I've personally not used it on anything lower than like my, like an RTX 3090 because I don't own any cards that are uh, really less than that. I, I've also run it on my AMD uh, W6800 Pro and it ran fine on that. And that's a substantially, that's about the equivalent of like, um, like an AMD RX 6800. So if you have an AMD card in that mid-range or if you have, well, I guess we want to call that mid-range. I think it's about mid-range. Um, if you have like a mid-range card or above from AMD or NVIDIA, you should be able to run this program. AMD users need the DirectX 12 version. For NVIDIA, there's an, a strictly NVIDIA version that uses CUDA libraries uh, because it works better with a NVIDIA card. NVIDIA uses CUDA, AMD uses the DirectX 12 version. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys again in the near future.